Hey, say what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Carter. I am back with another YouTube video. And as you see by the title, man, we are back with another NBA 2K25 video. My career, to be specific, we are going back with Heart of the Dynasty, which is the flashbacks of, like, your high school experience, your high school games, etc., etc. Like I told you all in all the previous videos, I would not be reacting or staying on the camera for the whole entire video. These videos are pre-recorded. I recorded this while I was offline gaming, and I'm coming back and then giving you all the footage. And I just wanted to show my face, and I didn't want you all to have no type of interaction with me and me just posting rear beer footage without nothing on it um if you enjoy videos like this and y'all want me to do more things like this i can do this a lot better and a lot easier than me getting back sitting right here on my playstation portal and playing it and playing a whole full 30 minute game with the camera on and, and it's just what can i talk about for that long you know what i mean um the way that i film these videos and the way that i do these things i use my playstation portal a lot that is what i use on this channel so when I'm offline and I'm not playing um, on camera, it makes it a lot easier for me to focus because the PlayStation Portal has bad latency and um, it's hard to time things perfectly. So a lot of these um, gameplay footage you might see, like the first couple of shots, I miss them because I'm getting used to the shooting and things like that on the portal. But yeah, so I'll be on here for the first couple of minutes. And then after that, if you enjoyed the rest of the video, you want to watch the rest of the video, you're more than welcome to. We post all types of content on here. Um, it's not just a 2K channel. I'm going to be posting other gaming videos as well. Um, 2K will be trickled in throughout the year. Every once in a while, I'll definitely post a My Career video here and there. But as far as um, what you looking for on this channel, man, I'm just a dude trying, trying to figure, it out, figure out what I want to post, man. I'm just posting whatever on the post, enjoying video games for what they are. I play them off camera anyway. So without further ado, three, two, one, now. Heart of the Dynasty flashback game. Let's get it. I can't believe how many North Beverly hats I saw today. Man. Front running high school team is crazy. Yo, that's what happens when you win eight straight titles and you're the most exclusive private school on the north side of Chicago, man. Five assistant coaches. Full time. Mm-hmm. That means they've been scouting you for months. Guess I'm gonna have to just go in there and do my thing, you know what I mean? Stop playing, MP. What the heck? Do you, you wanna win, bro? Of course I wanna win. What you doing? past the rock. Are you you're on a whole nother level than everybody else? I get that. But we can shoot. All right, especially if we're wide open and they're throwing doubles at you with their all-star recruits, man. Yo, Patrick, ever since you got to Plainview, you've been telling me to take over, prove to the scouts that I'm an NBA player. Yeah. And now we're on the biggest stage and you sitting here to tell me to play timid? You scared? You nervous? What's I'm up, scared, man? scared, man. It's, it's North Beverly. I can't lose to those guys. Hold on. Why? Because you play with half of them on your club league team? It's not the players, man. The players are in the same condition we in on scholarship. I'm talking about the fans. I can't stand the fans, man. They've been getting everything handed down to them. Their entire lives, man. And they swear it's because they're better than you. Yeah, no, that's real. Meanwhile, Somebody from Plainview can work twice as hard as them, and they'll never, ever get the same opportunity. I hear you. That's exactly what I'm saying. But, yo, you want to hear something even crazier? One of the biggest donors at North Beverly is the guy who shut down the garment factory. I don't feel like I'm watching All American. And my grandfather, he <laughs> worked there for 37 years, bro. 37 years, Patrick. If you, if you force up shots, we're gonna lose, man. The stock's gonna drop. Who's left for me to manage? <laughs> Go with this managing thing, man. How about you just worry about knocking down your shots tomorrow and then we'll talk about it, all right? That's not a problem. <laughs> all right, then. Plain view. All right, man, let's get out of here, bro. 
And I appreciate it, man. I, I just want to say thank you to the floor as they get ready Cut to scenes, the starting high lives. school, college even. These types of things excite me. This is where I come from. It comes to my career, 2K, things like that. I enjoy it, man. I enjoy it. Even if it's four or five games that you've given me, it's given me an opportunity to post content that I've always wanted to post since a kid. I wanted to make my career footage. I used to always want to do this when I was a kid, man. And the fact that I'm able to sit here and finally do it, it's a dream come true, bro. And I know it sounds cheesy for whoever out there that wants to be the most hard body of God to ever exist, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. This is this is literally something that I've dream of, dreamed of as a kid watching Chris move and all these guys make my career footage and post it and just be so immersive in my career story. And I hope that in the near future that they'll make the my career a lot better and keep producing better and better in my career videos because Man, this is where the heart of 2K came from, man. This is what starts to my player. This is what makes the journey so really special, man. 2K16, 2K17 stories were amazing, bro. So hopefully we can get back into those. I think 2K19 story was great, too. I think you were Shanghai, and you were trying to, like, get it out the mud. And you had that dude that you was beefing with from overseas. Like, a lot of these opportunities that 2K has brought to us have been amazing to me. I think I've seen it. I guess not, but um, yeah, man. I'm grateful to be here. Hello, I appreciate y'all, boys. To our Enjoy this high school championship high school game. See how much I'm I go off for. Without further ado, I'll Hugo. see you, boys, Danny, we've got in the next the one. matchup tonight between the Plainview Panthers and the North Beverly Bearcats. I'm rubbing my hands together, a bit of a David and Goliath situation here. The Bearcats looking for their ninth straight title, but the Panthers have come out of nowhere, led by their star, MP. He's the star of the show and has been nothing short of sensational all tournament. Oh, he's a player that can cause a load of problems with his overwhelming talent. And I'll tell you what, Coach Altman and the Bearcats will have a plan, but some things you just can't account for. And in this matchup, you can be sure North Beverly will focus on MP. They know he's the cog in this play new machine. MP is that guy. And as he goes, so does Plainview. Doesn't take a lot of scouting to see that. Who's bad is that? Passes to Cotham. Back to Bishop. The rebound by Dave Zadirko. Now it's Carter outside. Count it from distance. MP has such a natural look on his three-point attempts. Just pulls up and lets it fly from outside. Germanenko with it. Count the basket, and he makes his first shot of the game. And the Bearcats come into this final as the favorite. Eight straight Illinois State Championships for them. An incredible run. Pick by Little. To the paint. And the rebound goes to the Bearcats. Credit the D there. They got their hands up and made sure he wasn't comfortable on the release. Yeah, stayed very tight on him. Didn't allow him the space he needed to get a good shot off. And you look at the program North Beverly has put together, it's something you rarely see. Oh, they're the gold standard for high school basketball around here. Great coaching, great teammates. Kids want to play for this team. And if you add it all up, they've made the most of their chances. And now here's Marcita. Coffin sets the screen. Three-pointer. It's Marcita missing. I don't think there's a person in the building who thought he was going to miss that. Yeah, he had a wide open look. Wonder if he had maybe a little too much time. Here's Little. Lays it up and banks it in. Oh, you love how Little tries to just dominate the inside. He's bullying people and wants to own the paint. And you look at the size that North Beverly brings, you have to think that that's going to give Plainview some problems. Definitely. That size complicates your ability from a normal sets. Everything, I mean, even getting looks at the basket, passing across the court, it's all so much more difficult when your team has a huge size disadvantage. Outside, Marcita. Vlad Dermanenko on the wing. Fires from 18. The rebound by Dave Zabirko. Claimed you with the lead. Pass to Pachumpsi. Back to Carter. Oh, 
Inside. Sadirko gets the bucket. They're just trying to build out this lead, bucket by bucket. It is a small margin, but they've got the upper hand. Outside, Marcita. Shoots over for Chubsy. The offensive rebound. And stopped by Bishop, no good. And Ben Bishop, the big man for the Bearcats, seven plus feet in the middle, hard to miss out on the floor. Yeah, sticking out on the floor with his height. The mobility is the only question mark for him. He moves like he's 50 years old and has a minivan, but man, when he gets into position, he's a load to deal with. A nice shot by Dermanenko. North Beverly has tools at every level. And when Dermanenko hits mid-range shots, it's confounding to try to stop their team. Down low. Little. Yes, and it's MP picking up the assist. Jumping at it with a significant lead already. Just dominating on both ends. Let's see if their opponent can mount any type of resistance. Now here's Dermanenko. To the inside. Park down low that time and gets hit with a three-second call. So both teams making some changes here. And Wells, a transfer to Plainview before the season, he's been a huge part of their success. Wells knows how to shoot something you can always use more of. Likely won't make that jump to the college level, though, but he's a great high school player and a really solid one-two punch with MP. And North Beverly making a change here. is a prototypical guy that any team would love to have. He's big, he's physical, and he's chasing blocks on D. Now here's Dermanenko, pass to Leftos. Here's Splitter. Pass Lana Glue, down to five on the shot clock. Here's Lee. A shot off that time. Nice D from Daisy Dierko. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle, pass to Little. Carter, he's guarded by Dermanenko. Returns it to Little. Wells for three. Ted Gibson sinks the tray. Their offense has been on an absolute tear. They're simply overpowering the opposition and taking this game right now. 100%. We'll see if they can manage to keep this up. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. It's the Panthers up by 16. And the second quarter just moments away when we come right back. Welcome back, everyone. We're here at the United Center. Second quarter of the Illinois State Championship getting underway. And something to note between these two schools, Plainview has never beaten North Beverly. Wow, Joe, just lay out the cold hard fact like that? Yeah, I'm not sure I would ever bring that up in the locker room or make the sole point to fire up the squad, but either way, staying undefeated over another team can be a real challenge on that end. From deep, it's MP, and another three for Plainview. This team showed up to send a message, and they're trying to end this game right now. Yeah, you have to appreciate their effort at both ends. They've been relentless, and they've been impressive. Here's Williams. And the shot no good, a bit short that time. Passes to Wells. Carter. Down low. Zadirko lays it up and in off the pretty assist. MP up to five assists now on the contest, doing a great job involving his team. Just looking to get anything going offensively. Honestly, it feels like there's a lid on the hoop right now. Lee, he's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. And when you watch Dermanenko on the court for North Beverly, he's as composed as they get at this level. He's the smallest starter for the Bearcats, but he's sort of like this conductor of a larger-than-life Bearcat orchestra. He moves the symphony, and he collects assists from the giants of North Beverly. And he gets the bucket to go. 
Zadirko lives for the physical play. He goes right at the throat of the defense on that one. Swings it to Splinter. Will Williams on the wing. Guarded by Gibson. Back to Aswanoglu. Now Germanenko. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Wave after wave, the Bearcats create so many paint problems for their opponents. They've surfed those waves all the way to this championship game. The Bearcats making a switch here. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Carter, left side. Outside for Tombo. Here's Will. And a great assist by Grant Tombo as that one falls. Well, no doubt MP is a legend for Plainview already. Likely to be the first graduate to have ever seen the NBA. And for someone who's never seen him, MP's athleticism is something special. He's got great basketball IQ, and you can see the potential ooze out of him. This is just the start of what can be a decorated career. It's stolen by Tombo. Out on his own on the break. And MP throws it down hard. Fans admire the way Grant Tombo plays the game because he's willing to do whatever it takes to help Plainview. Germanenko outside. Not that time. It's off. He's now three for seven. The drive by MP. Passes to Wells. The kick out to Carter. Inside. Tombo. And dunked home by Grant Tombo. And what a half it's been for MP so far. Who recorded his seventh assist with that last dish. Let's talk about Danny Coffin for a moment. The Bearcats power forward loves to clean the glass. He's got a real pack mentality too. So when a shot goes up, Coffin is nearly always in the picture and he's either boxing out or snagging those boards himself for easy second chance buckets. Plain view on offense. And here's MP on the outside. And it's rebounded by Bishop. And so with it, it's North Beverly. In just over three and a half minutes played into the second quarter. Outside, Day. To the paint. Shots good by Cawthon. Look, a guy like Cawthon isn't afraid of contact inside. He might even prefer to get to fight for it. From deep, it's MP. Sinks it from distance. You're just asking for more trouble than you can handle if you let him roam free in three-point range. Drake, some of these players on these teams have faced off against each other in club league. Those memories can be an asset in their minds. Oh, yeah. When you've faced someone before, those lessons learned may translate to in-game advantages, Danny. And that's the thing. you got to correct past mistakes, keep making adjustments, and get better over time. Up top, Coffin. And they come right back down with their own three-pointer. That's what's great to see from a big man like Coffin. It's his ability to flex out and shoot from anywhere on the court. You don't see that from him all too often. Nails it from three. What a run it's been for MP. And he has double-digit points in this quarter alone. Yeah, yeah, pick up right. Dermanenko outside. He's got a ball. Passes to Coffin. Over Tombo. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair so far. It's the Panthers just dominating this one. And we send it to halftime now, back with the third quarter right after this. And we're back. Illinois State Championship second half action about to restart. And it might be intimidating for some of these players playing in such a hollowed ground here at the United States. I think it's safe to substitute the might for a definitely does. It's bigger here. The sights, the sounds, everything. It's a dream come true for many of these players. Outside, Day. Pass to Bishop. To the wing, right side. Now here's Day. The three ball. Rebounded by Pertumsi. Plain view on offense. Carter, left side. Down it goes for the eighth time in ten attempts. MP can smell that Illinois State title, racking up bucket after bucket. Outside, Day. 
Back to Dermanenko. Outside, Day. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the long J. So many of the players for the Panthers have been a part of the Plainview community their whole life. There have been a lot of legacy names. Some of the kids have fathers and grandfathers that played for Plainview. It's not a large town, but they love their basketball. From deep, it's MP. Pure from three-point range. And they have no answer for MP. He's pouring it on, willing his team to a state title. Outside, Day. MP with the steal. And here we go. And MP throws it down hard. A jolting slam from MP. I'm seeing wide eyes from lots of fans in this gym, guys. Oh, my. Now, here's Dermanenko. He has six. Second chance oh. shot. And lots of contact there, missing the shot, and will shoot two. James Marcita is a talented wing who can play at the next level. At six foot 10 inches and 240 pounds, small is not what comes to mind for this small forward. Oh, no, not at all, Danny. It's noticeable how tall he is. And it's unusual to see that kind of mass in a high school wing. But again, that's the benefit of the international recruiting that North Beverly pulls from. Imagine being the point guard for a team of just relative giants. That's Germanico's life on this team, guiding Bohemus to victory after victory. Nails it from beyond the arc. He is cooking something spicy from downtown. How many more threes can he hit today? He's like an astronaut finding space out there, and he's in rhythm. To the inside, and it's stolen by Zadirko. From deep, it's MP. Jabbar Day pulls it in. And so with it, it's North Beverly. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Marcita. North Beverly no good on that one either. Coach Riley Altman has North Beverly prepared to play this game as if it's on their own home floor. Oh, Coach Altman is a living legend. He's the most decorated high school coach in Illinois state history. And what's great about him is he doesn't want his players to be overwhelmed by the environment. He wants them to stay focused and in the game plan. Pass to Day. Five to shoot. Fires from deep. North Beverly no good on that one either. That's a break for the D. He's not the guy to leave open out there on the perimeter. Yeah, that's a breakdown, plain and simple. But they got away with it. There's a reason he's a five-star recruit. MP with a 30-point performance here in the state championship game. Vlad Dermanenko on the wing. Defended by Carter. Dermanenko with the bucket. Hey, a solid-looking jumper there. Dermanenko has such a great sense of when he should shoot. He steps back. Here's Carter. Zadirko outside. Tombo. And here's MP on the outside. That falls, coming off the assist from Patrick Wells. And the story of the second half has been their shooting from long range. Found their rhythm coming out of the break, and they're hunting those perimeter shots. Passes to Coffin. Over Tombo. Coffin, no good. And the ball out of play. North Beverly will have it. Dishes to Marcida. Shoots over for Chumsey. Zabirko grabs a rebound. Just can't buy a basket. Trying to get back on track somehow. Or he could pass the ball more. I mean, that's a thought. Here's the Bearcats with the basketball. Outside, Marcida. To the middle. Bishop. Shoots over Wells, buries it from 15 feet out. 
And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been pretty one-sided so far. Claim you ahead, running away with it. And right after the break, we'll get the fourth quarter basketball underway. Final quarter of play just ahead. The Illinois State Championship on the line. And here's North Beverly. And of course, high school basketball around Chicago as competitive as it gets. There is a legacy here. Yeah, players are chasing a shadow in the shape of the number 23. And it envelops every court in this city. Basketball could be a ticket, could be the opportunity of a lifetime for these athletes. And so it looks like North Beverly will retain possession here. Dermanenko outside. Aslana Glue back to Dermanenko. August Splitter on the wing. And a three off target. Plain view on offense. On the wing, it's MP. Defended by Chu. Porter gets the bucket. Everybody knows MP has the ability to score all day long. And look, that's why his coaches and scouts don't want him to defer as much as he does. And as we know, a lot of colleges have their eyes on this state championship, a number of top recruits. Oh, if you're a fan of basketball, this is the game to watch. A handful of these players might even make their way to the NBA. But MP, he's the most highly touted athlete out on the floor. And almost all of North Beverly's roster will play college ball somewhere. From the arc. And the Panthers hit it again from deep. And MP is scratching his name into the high school lore with this performance. Now at the 40-point mark with that score. Swings it to Splitter. There's a screen by Lee. And again, it's the Bearcats missing. The three. And again, it's MP with the triple. The fourth quarter has been all about the three-pointer for them. Aggressive mindset late in the game. And they've been pulling it off. Back to Chu. And here is Splitter. Vlad Dermanenko on the wing. Aslanoglu outside with just five to shoot. Back to Splitter. Aslanoglu for three. Johnny Chu. And again, it's the Bearcats missing. Now it's Carter outside. And another three for Plainview. And they're just scoring at will, getting whatever shot they want out there. Yeah, and the lead, it's only getting bigger. Not sure what the opposition is thinking at this moment. Here's Lee. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Let's the three fly. And again, it's MP with the triple. He's really been producing offensively tonight, helping build that lead they're enjoying. It's the kind of shooting that you can build your whole offensive strategy around. Right side, it's two. Aslana Glue outside. Dishes to two. Carter with the steal. And the layup falls. This is nuts. They can't miss. It's so rare to see a team operate like this. I can't remember the last time that they did miss. Insane display. Johnny Chu defended by Carter from downtown. And that's good. Johnny Chu for three. He's too good a shooter to leave open. That's a breakdown defensively. Takes the three. And the Panthers hit it again from deep. And he answers the call with a three of his own. He loves leading his team, and he's stepping up right now. Outside, shoot. Down low, Lee. And Myron Lee finishes it off. Fed his teammate off the bounce there. Nice. Now it's Carter outside. And another three for Plainview. And they have not let up. This is a statement victory. Some might say they're running up the score. To me, it looks like they're just playing their brand of basketball. Leftos inside. 
Working on Little. Vlad Dermanenko on the wing. Shot clock at six. For three, Johnny Chu. The rebound by Mark Little. Now it's Carter outside. There's the triple. And the Panthers hit it again from deep. You can tell MP has put a lot of work into his motion. Practice makes perfect, and he's refined it. Good habits on the court. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Two, no good. Now it's Carter outside. From deep, drains the triple. He's the leading scorer in the game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt. Put it in the history book. The Plainview Panthers have done the unthinkable and are Illinois state champions. MP has led his school to glory, and this is a season Plainview will never forget. And what can you say about MP and this team? You could never count them out. And they took down a tight in North Beverly today. And out of all the schools to end the dominance of North Beverly, nobody would have expected the Plainview Panthers. These kids are legends today and here on out. It's a Cinderella story that this state will never forget. For Drake Hugo, Danny Hager, this is Joe Lamy. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I told you, we were going to get that W, bro. <laughs> we did that. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Did y'all look at the stands during that trophy presentation? Yeah, dude. Our whole section was crying. Oh, man, it was crazy. I did not realize how much we meant to everyone until I saw it on their faces, oh, man. Oh, man, I ain't going to lie. I had some tears rolling down. Right? Come on, man. That was some emotional stuff, y'all. Bro, I had tears, especially because, like, this is it for me. Mm. You know? I'm not playing college ball, and I'm definitely not playing in FIBA like our right, boy Come here. on, man. Yeah. Chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> Not for real. Thank I you. never left Thank Illinois. And you're going all the way to Hungary to play for our country? Yo, that's wild. Man, I can't even think about that right now. I just got to focus on graduating first, and that's it. Come on, man. You got the best grades on the team. <laughs> and you talking about you got to graduate uh, you first go. like you some at risk. You? Hey, it's Come just on, one man. step at a time, P. You know, it's... That's how you get to where I'm at, man. <laughs> yeah, that and being a freak athlete. <laughs> nah, that don't, that don't hurt. But if you're trying to build something big, you got to do it. Brick by brick, man. Speaking of bricks, Benny over here been putting up bricks all season. Right, I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> all right. So you got jokes now, huh? I got jokes. I got the looks. I got the charisma. Delusional self-esteem. Whoa. <laughs> Throwing shots. Well, all the time, man. <laughs>